Texas News Storm Team. Seven, welcome back. Well, like you said, it's starting to feel like fall. Yeah, we're definitely, this week is definitely mm -hmm. transitioned. You know, last week we had days where it was like 40, we jumped right back up to 70. Yeah. yeah. That's not really in our picture right now. Could maybe see one, it wouldn't surprise me if we see another day at this point. Mm -hmm. Just because the air is sort of just fighting each other right now. Yeah. We're right in the middle of it. Trying to say, I want summer, I yeah. want fall. Yeah. Or it's okay. like when you're inside and you're cold and then you walk outside to go take your dog out and you're in the sun. Yep, yes. and you get warm. Yeah. I know. It's a battle. Yes, it it's is. It's a battle. It's a struggle. It's a battle of <laughs> yeah. the temperatures. Yeah, but we'll start this off on our KX cam overlooking downtown Bismarck. Clear skies here as well. Good morning to everyone. There, and again, just clear skies really over the state. Maybe some cloud cover just building itself over to the west, but temperatures right now in Bismarck going to be a bit chillier than out to the west. Temperatures right now sitting at 43 degrees. You have a northeast wind at 5 miles per hour, and your dew point sitting at 36 degrees. And in Minot, same thing there, clear skies. Temperatures sitting at 53 degrees, so a bit warmer there. South-southwest wind at 6 miles per hour, and your dew point sitting at 37 degrees. Again, satellite and radar, just some cloud cover trying to build itself in right now through the central portions and western portions of the area. Maybe a slight chance of some small sprinkles, but other than that, a really nice morning today. Temperatures, though, were pretty variable. You know, we got those mid to upper 40s to the mid to lower 50s, you know, even some low upper 30s. So temperatures really ranging across the area right now. And they will be pretty much throughout the whole day with that cold front moving through this morning. Wind speeds and directions, though, also pretty variable to the east, those 5 to 10 mile per hour winds from the south. As you start to move to the west, you got winds at 5 to 15 miles per hour from the west. So the winds calmer right now, but they'll definitely pick up as we get through the day, obviously. You know, we've said this a lot. By about just past noon, we're going to be looking at constant winds at 20 miles per hour, just a little bit above that. Some areas could be seeing 25, 30 mile per hour winds. And those gusts, they're going to be up there in that 40, 45 mile per hour range. So it's going to be a windy one today, going to be even windier tomorrow. But your highs for today, Got to out to the west, those mid to lower 60s, even some upper 60s and lower 70s down to the south. But as you move to the west, that's where we're seeing those temperatures really start to drop in that mid to lower 60s with some upper 50s. So temperatures really variable east to west today. Your precision cast though, lots of sunshine in our forecast. So have a slight chance of rain this morning with that cold front moving through. But as we get in the afternoon, really clear skies. We move into Wednesday morning, another slight chance of rain. It's, it's going to be really slim. We can move into Wednesday, that rain sort of lingers around. Into Thursday, really clear day Thursday. But as we move into Friday morning, that's where we'll see another slight chance of rain. You know, this won't be very much. It'll be just a quick sprinkle, if anything. You know, just maybe the model's just overzealous this morning. But your highest for tomorrow, though, temperature's really starting to feel like fall in that mid to lower 50s range with some upper 40s. And again, your winds are going to pick up tomorrow as well. We're going to sit in the morning at 10 to 20 miles per hour from the west with gusts to 30 into the afternoon. Northwest wind at 25 to 35 miles per hour with gust at 45 to even 50 miles per hour. So tomorrow, we're going to be a tad windy. For your three-day Dickinson forecast, got that. 59, dropping down to 54 over the next two days. Going to be windy. Williston, same thing, 55 over the next two days. Again, windy over the next two. Lots of sunshine, though. We won't have that much cloud cover, just that rain chance in the morning. For your Minot seven-day forecast, really the same thing. Dropping to those lower 50s the rest of the week. Sunday's really going to be the coldest day at 46. Here in Bismarck, really the same thing. Friday could warm up a bit into the lower 60s before Sunday drops back into that upper 40s. 46 really does sound cold. Yes. <laughs> yeah. For what we've been having, you mm -hmm. know, so going from 70s to 40s, back to 70s. Yeah. and si Especially when you add that wind yes. to the mix. Yeah, makes it a little bit chilly. Fairly yep. soon it's going to sound warm. Yeah. <laughs> I know, <laughs> That's right? True. That's true. <laughs> well, 46, man, it's a heat wave. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Stone. And plenty of stories ahead on Good Day Dakota, including we told